Well done, real excitement uh, and back to Premiership action. Four rounds to go. Gloucester, sellout crowd. It's got the makings of everything, isn't it? Yeah, it does. I think it's a fixture that people look forward to a lot. Um, I think there's a lot of history there. Um, and you know, I think they're always pretty exciting games, quite physical. You know, they're, they're an exciting side, we're an exciting side, so yeah, it should be a great spectacle. We're now at the business end of the season, as Rob likes to call it and that, but as players, how excited are you and how much do you take from the last three games in the Premiership? Three really big results for you. Yeah, they, they have been uh, big results for us, but you know, we, we've kind of got to look forward. You know, we've got a few games left to go and make sure that we, we're hitting our stride in the right time. Um, we want to get to <clears throat> obviously higher places in the, at the end of the season, so you know, we got to make sure that we're building in the right direction. And, you know, it starts with this weekend, and you know that's an excitement that we've kind of got to make sure that we've got you know with our training, with our mindsets, and you know, and, and each game that we play. Gloucester, you know from past experience, including the very first game of the season, not a, not an easy uh, side to beat. No, they're not. You know, I think they've been getting the results to prove that you know they can they can really show them they're real they're, they're contenders this year. So, you know, it's, we got to make sure that we pitch up. You know, if they pitch up and, and we pitch up, I think it'll be an exciting game. Um, and we got to make sure that we're, we're on it um, and, and really put ourselves on them. You've obviously shown your all-court game in, in recent weeks. So we've seen the back scoring tries, but up at, at Bath in particular, a real forwards effort, and you had to grind it out out there. Yeah, we did. Um, I think it was what the game demanded. Um, and you know, it's really good to see that you know different aspects of the game step up when they're needed. Um, and hopefully this weekend, you know, both both of the aspects step up, and you know, we we just fire on all cylinders. You know, from playing Gloucester in the past, though, any game of rugby is one up front, and they, they're a pretty formidable pack in themselves. Yes, they are. Um, but so are we. So you know, I think that's what makes it exciting. You know, if you look from the back line, both the back lines are exciting. Both forward packs are exciting. Both forward packs have a special thing that they bring, so you know I think from, from 1 to 15 on Sunday is going to be a special thing to watch. We saw last season you hit your straps at the right time last year. Do you feel you're doing that as a team now? You're hitting the right note going into this last month or so? Yeah, of course, but I mean, let's ask that question at the end of the season and we can, we'll know for sure. But you know, yeah, we, we've got to take it game, game by game now um, and make sure we're focusing on the right things, come at the right time. So, you know, I, th I, think, I think we're hitting the right straps, but you know, I don't want to be too overconfident, but also, you know, I want to say with confidence that we will be in getting our straps. It's pretty quiet here now, but how much is this home factor going to be, not just this weekend, but in a few weeks against Sale and hopefully a home semi final? Yeah, you know, it's speak, in, speak about a week in, week out how important the fans are and the noise they bring in the atmosphere at Sandy Park. So, you know, Sunday, come Sunday, make sure that the noise is up and, you know, make it the atmosphere that makes it special. We haven't really spoken to you since. You've made your uh, Six Nations debut as well. How, how pleased and excited were you to, to be involved in that? Yeah, I was obviously very excited, you know, getting the call up, going up there and, and being able to represent, you know, Chiefs essentially up, up there. It was very exciting, really special playing at Twickenham. Um, it was a good experience, um, but, you know, I think the focus has got to be back in Premiership now. Obviously, England coaches are down here watching today, but is that a focus for you as a player, to finish strongly with the Chiefs and potentially a summer tour? Uh, I answer the same way I always do. Is just my focus is Chiefs. So you know, whatever happens after that is great. But you know, it's 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 not the kind of thing I want to slip into. Is making sure that I'm um, putting myself in position for afterwards because what comes first is important, and that's Chiefs, and you know, that's where my focus is now. Just on Gloucester, Johan Ackerman's done a very good job this year. He's brought about a bit more consistency to them, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Um, I think he was doing the same thing at his at Lions in South Africa, and I think you know he's he's, he's got a good coaching reputation behind him and something that he's building. Um, you know, the results that Gloucester have been getting, the way that they've been playing, is certainly a trademark of of his influence with their with their team. Their yeah, waveform though doesn't quite match their home form, and you'd be hoping to exploit that on Sunday, wouldn't you? But, uh... Yeah, but I I don't think that's anything that we we even think about with the waveform and home form because I think it's just you know rugby the way it is these days. You can pitch up you know on on a day where people always write you off or you you, you couldn't. But you know, I think come Sunday we'll, we'll we'll see how their waveform is. It must be nice to have some spring-like conditions at last after what's been a long winter, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks.